Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. As promised, I kept saying I was gonna do a video with Kenzie ever one when we do one with the girls. I know I'm Ivy's in the video. She hasn't seen me. Look. <laughs> She's obsessed with me. Ivy. How cute is she? Good girl. Old Gamma loves you too, baby. Okay. So I asked you guys for some questions and I picked some of our favorite, my favorite ones to ask you. They're oh, really to cute. ask me. Yeah. Okay. They're really cute. Okay. Fran Horn, I like this because it was Fran. <laughs> Describe yourself in only one word. Impulsive. That's a good one. Yes. I, yes. Would, I would definitely say impulsive. Yes, I think that is good. <laughs> okay. Um, your favorite underscore D for real. That's okay. so funny. How many pets do you have and what are their names? <laughs> <laughs> I have three. <laughs> Which is so funny because I, I have more pets than any of us and I'm the youngest. Mm -hmm. um, I have Ivy. Um, she is a mutt. <laughs> she's a mutt. She's not a dog. She's a human. And I have two cats. I have one kitten. His name is Ben. And then I have a cat named Gus. Which everyone hates Ben's name. Which I think it's cute. What? I think it's so cute. And it's funny, I asked her, are you gonna get any more? She goes, no, because she has to carry, this. she takes them back and forth when she goes to Dakotas. She has three animals and it's a lot. My whole back seat is full, like I have three children. <laughs> it's like, I can't, I seriously can't have any more, no. ever. You know you're only allowed to have three dogs in LA County? So you're saying if I got two more dogs, I'd still be fine? Yeah. Wow. You just can't have more than three dogs. No one listens to that. <laughs> Um, official Ashley Bardo Barbutu Puto. What is something that has made you two closer since Kenzie has become an adult? Moving out. Yep. I love it. Kenzie calls me and says, Mom, you want to come spend the day with me? We'll go shopping. And I love it. I'm, and I literally, if I have plans, I just call whoever I'm, I'm like, I'm calling with Kenzie. They're like, okay. Everybody <laughs> knows my kids come first. Always. Well, always, we would always. hang out with you, but we're just busy, you know? Yeah. So, but I spend a lot of time with you. Yeah, we're like really lucky that way. But I think once you move out of your mom's home or like your parents' house, yeah, it you always become closer because you actually appreciate, not that I didn't appreciate you. No. But like you actually appreciate. Maddie said that to me today too. And Kenzie has a garden. So I was here every single day because we planted her garden and Oh, it was so much fun. And now, do you know out there there's a melon, there's melon growing. What's a melon? I'm not sure what kind of melon, I don't know what it is. Um, but we should have did pumpkins. Yeah. I'm you so You need mad. a haircut really bad again. Or like a bath. I'm gonna give you a bath. When Gamma takes you this week, we're gonna take it out. Ignore what she looks like right now. She's been eating too many sweets. She's a little chubby. It's okay. I like this one. Uh, Shan Bell 33 can you give me any tips for being in high school? I know you were never in high school, but. Um, I think don't be afraid to be yourself because I feel like a lot of my friends feel um, like nervous in school and, and feel like they are need to be better than everyone else or like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like dress better than everyone else. And, Look perfect. And yeah. Like, you know. I feel like just be yourself. I feel like if, people don't like you for who you are, then there's no point of being friends with someone. I don't know. Oh, for sure. I always say, you don't need a big group of friends, just like a nice small group of friends that you trust, mm -hmm. you know? Um, Anna.C. Dicario. Are you still in contact with any of the OGs? Yes. Of course. Um, all the all the OGs from the first season, yes. Uh, like, oh my god, I just blanked. Um, Brooke, Paige, Chloe, um, Nia, uh, uh, Maddie, Mad my sister. <laughs> That's and it. Vivi, no. but not Vivi. Just Wait, is that, Vivi. Is that all? Yeah. What did you just? Yeah. Nia, Brooke, Paige, Chloe, Vivian, you, and Maddie. That was really it. Mm -hmm. And then Kendall came season two, so I always call, I consider her an OG. But Vivi just went to college. She's I think, so funny. She pops up on my TikTok all the time, and I love her. I love she's her. been my duo partner. I love her. I think she's hilarious. She is so funny. And you talk to Kathy, don't you? I love her. I actually was going to surprise Vivian and go to her graduation party, 
but we had a golf tournament that day. And I didn't want to disappoint Greg and say, oh, you have to find someone else because I'm not home that much. But I really wanted to go because it's just a few hours away. Yeah. But I know Kathy is sad because she's used to being with mm -hmm. Vivian all the time, you know? I still also talk to Bryn. Um, oh, yeah. Because if you guys remember, Bren was like my best friend. Do you remember? She was my bestest, bestest friend. And I love so her. she lives in Arizona. So I don't get to see her that often, but I love her a lot. She's about 10 feet tall. She's so tall. Oh my God. And she's perfect. And beautiful. I love her. I think she's just the best. Yeah. Okay. Anna Cass, K A S S C P S. <laughs> what was your What was your favorite dance on Dance with the Stars? Ooh. I think either my last one, which was my hip hop one, oh, I love that because one. I picked the song and it was Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber. Christmas. And I think my other favorite one was um, Cheap Thrills with Maddie. I like the cheerleader one. Really? Yeah, it was so cute. No one watched my da my jazz one. It was terrible. No, the jazz one was terrible. Oh, I just had, I mean, it wasn't, you weren't oh, terrible. Yeah, it just, no, we were terrible. It was just a terrible, I'm oh, sorry. I have a dog here on my lips. Um, yeah. Oh, Abby yeah. underscore two sixteen. Favorite memory of being in the hotels at dance competitions. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think that was the most fun part Friday night. of literally our whole lives. <laughs> like being in that dance. Yeah, being being in the hotel rooms without our moms was like so fun. We were downstairs eating dinner. Well yeah, not that they weren't there, but like we they would ask us to go to dinner and we never wanted to because we were on a bus for hours. But what did you guys all hotel. order? So much food. But what? We would get like steak. Filet mignon and mashed potatoes. Filet mignon potatoes. and mashed potatoes. We would spend so much money and put it on our mom's cards. Um, and then you would, Maddie would make everybody put their trays outside. Oh yeah. Uh, we would also do full body massages. So like. My bed would be wet. Yeah. It would be different. It'd be a different person every... You'd massage a different person every Friday. But, like, oh. Nia usually massaged me because she was the best. So, I called her first always. She's a really good massager. She would do yeah. my shoulders for me on the bus. Yeah. So, that... And then, we also would make music videos when we were... Like, music, video stars. Music star. Oh. Video star. We would make music videos in our hotel room and, like, put on all of our mom's clothes... And it was so fun. Oh my gosh, Chloe and Maddie did so many because I still have them on my one iPad, and I saw do them. You? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, the one her and yeah, Chloe the, did. Right. Uh, the last Friday night. Oh. Yeah. My I love you, punk hippo. Okay, Jessica, uh, Renee, Vans. Oh, okay, I got that. How did you feel when Kenzie played, first played Anatomy for you? Oh my gosh, she played it for me. We were, I was driving. I don't even know where we we're going. She never lets me drive her. No, but we were shopping and um, like we always do. And she said, mom, I wanna play you the song. And I literally bawled. I mean, I think like tears were like sprouting out of my eyes and I was like I'm so sorry she's like what it's not your fault I mean I cried I loved it it's my favorite song I play it every morning I don't know why when I put my makeup on I put that on and then I play my music the Christian music yeah that's so sweet yes I love it so much you're I probably all the six million streams <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> yeah it streamed a lot guys that was awesome um Nick Kornakashia what is your guys' favorite movie to watch together? High School Musical. Absolutely. And guess what I watched in Pittsburgh? High School Musical? Mm -hmm. Or Camp Rock was really good. Yeah, too. I love Camp Rock. Just anything old Disney, oh. I think. And a favorite show was Good Luck Charlie. GLC. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Charlie's so beautiful. I know. But um, the Jonas Brothers, I want to go see them. They're in concert right now. I know. I'm surprised you're not going. I just, I've been so busy and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to see them because I love, I love the you Jonas should. Brothers still. I know, I know, I'm 55 years old and I love the Jonas Brothers. I, um, so it was funny when I went to see Maddie perform at the Hollywood Bowl and I was walking down to, and like the little booths or, you know, like the really cool tables. They said, we love Maddie McKenzie. The boy said to me. Who? 
the Jonas Brothers. Wait, what? Because I we had a meeting with their dad. Oh, when I was young. Their dad yeah. is amazing. They're just the whole family is amazing. I love them. I don't know. I think they're just awesome. Look at this dog. You're a good girl. You're such a good girl. Okay, Sammy Lanucci. Kenzie, have you ever considered going to college? These names are really hard. Hard. I know. Um, yeah, actually, I almost went to college. Mm -hmm. I almost went to school. I went. Remember, I wanted to go back to school. When did we you go to the Notre Dame? Notre Dame. We lived by the school. Not now, obviously, but because I would not tell you that. <laughs> but we no. lived right by Notre Dame, and I begged my mom to let me go. But Notre Dame is actually so expensive. And it's so hard. And it's so hard and I would never have I would never have had time. No. But I graduated school anyways. But I At almost 16. did I wanted to go to college and then I was like, I don't have time. So then I was gonna do online college. And then I think I moved out, so it was like Greg wasn't pushing but Greg. My wasn't stepdad is was my teacher growing up so and he was really smart and he was not a teacher that would let me just like cheat my way through school. Like he he you did really AP pushed classes. me. Yeah, he really pushed me. So he was gonna help me with college. Um but you could still go back anytime. But yeah, so I'll probably I'll probably do it at some point. He wants her to be an engineer. She's so good at math and science. No, I'd be I'd be an interior designer if I wasn't doing this. Really? Not an engineer. Christina Cecilia, what was it like transitioning from being on Dance Moms to not being on Dance Moms? It was great. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, you didn't have to, like, the schedule that you had. Like, we felt weird because we didn't get to see the girls. Yeah. Like, it, w it went from them being our only friends. Like, we had other friends, but, like, them being our sisters to, like, us not seeing them. Yeah at all unless like we would go home to pittsburgh you know because mm -hmm. um, we stayed in la and everyone else moved you know went yeah. back home to pittsburgh but honestly i i i loved it because i made so many friends that were my age which was like yeah kind of difficult for me on the show because i was so young compared to like kalani like kalani was what like 15 when i was really young uh yeah like when I was 12. But Brooke, like, always was, Brooke always took care of you and said- Brooke was my big sister always, yeah. but like, it was hard for me to be really young with all the older girls. So I, I, when I left, I made so many friends, millions of friends, and I just, I had so much fun. And I, I think I found myself as yeah. a person. Cause oh, I yeah. wasn't, I didn't even know what I was doing when I was on the show. No, you were so little. Okay, buddy. Okay, baby. Um, we'll do just like a couple more noises. Oh, this, I have to read this one because I think this is cute. This woman is old enough to be her grandma. Mm -hmm. Tammy Scott Knees. It says, Kenzie, was it healing to say the words out loud having an absentee parent? Um, for your song, of course, Anatomy. I do love how you didn't hide the fact in your interview that you reached out to a counselor. I'm old enough to be your grandma, and I haven't done that yet in my life. <laughs> Isn't that so That's sweet? That's so cute. So she wants to I'm know. I'm old enough to be your grandma. I know. And she's not, you need to go call, go to therapy, because it's really a good thing. Yeah. It was really nice to release a song about it, because I think I, people, well, first of all, uh, like, took me seriously, and music because it was very personal mm -hmm. and I think that's like the hardest part about being an artist is that you kind of have to like yeah. share everything um and I think it was also great because I um I got over it after I released it that's amazing like it just cha it changed so much for me like that's I'm incredible and therapy changed a lot for me not even just like about my dad it changed like my anxiety it changed the way I think about myself it changed a lot of things my yeah. confidence my friendships you know what I'm saying oh yeah because it's hard I mean it's hard to be it's hard to be a young person these days with social media and people look perfect when they really aren't mm -hmm. no one's perfect I hated therapy though remember mm -hmm. I would 
beg, I would literally beg you. I'm like, I don't want to go mm -hmm. because it was so terrible. And because I guess the therapists that I had were so crazy. She was nuts. I'm sorry. But that's she terrible. was nuts. And now you're the one. And I felt like she was just being paid, obviously, to talk to me. And she, and I think I ended up being her therapist, which was crazy at like 12. But now, I, I think you just need to find a therapist that's like your friend. That she's amazing. Because, because you can text your therapist anytime. Oh my god, she's hilarious. And she, she like laughs at me sometimes and I'm like okay, buddy. okay I, you're driving me nuts girl sit sit like I will tell her something that I'm stressing about and she'll be like oh my god she's like you're okay and she like talks to me like my friend and I think that's important because I don't like to be like talked down to it's nice for people to just like talk to me like I'm talking to my sister yeah like a therapist but I haven't done it in a while because I'm actually great yeah no that's so great I love that I, I think it's great. Oh, I like this one. Pamela Vilro. What was your all-time family vacation, like the best one that we've ever gone on? Oh. Cabo. Do you know what they did in Cabo? It was so funny. I don't know. If, you don't even remember this. I think it was, I don't know if it was you and Emily and Austin, Austin were in the hot tub and it was like, 10 30 at night and we had the whole resort to ourselves because hardly anybody was there there was like 10 people at the pool during the day it was incredible but at night you guys ordered guacamole all the time like they would bring guacamole and um strawberry daiquiris that weren't alcohol but they were still 27 dollars for one but you would you guys were having guacamole at the hot tub and there was like this newlywed couple in the hot tub and then you kids and greg was like he went to check on you he came back he goes those kids and he was laughing so hard because you have you were kids doing that and you didn't even realize it so stupid but it was we so brought, cute we were literally catching lizards and we brought them into our hotel room <laughs> we that were fun. we had such a blast because oh my gosh well Austin is my best friend so it was so nice to bring him on a family vacation and Cameron came and yeah it was the best vacation and we like would get a boat every time and like we'd jump off the boat oh my god and the food was always so great but then we realized how much that whole thing was and how much you guys paid for us and we're like we're never going back there that's terrible because <laughs> we ordered so much food every day it was six thousand nine hundred dollars that week just per pool the food at the pool like we thought i don't know why we thought it was like all inclusive or something no, but the drinks, you guys ordered probably three, four of those drinks a day. So that was like $30 a drink. That's ridiculous. But you know what? And they were all non-alcoholic, which is so funny that they were so expensive. But Greg, vacations, he says that's something he spends money on and he's fine to spend money on. So I think that's good. I think that's the last one. Um, oh, wait, what? This one, because everyone always asks this. Okay, so this will be our last question. Um, Amber Knighton, what was, what is Kenzie's favorite solo and group dance from Dance Moms? Oh, I've had so many dances. It's like hard to remember. Um, I think my favorite solo was, oh my gosh. You know, I remember a lot of things. I know. This is one thing I don't remember. Okay, Bubble I think, Bee Mouse. No, those were those were cute, but they weren't my favorite dance. I think my favorite dance, like choreography wise and costume wise, was red. Oh yeah, because I wore that red little tiny like halter mm -hmm. top, and Janine choreographed my solo. But for the, I think that was my first solo that she choreographed for the show. Yeah, and she was my favorite teacher out of everyone and yeah i just i felt confident with that one or sink or swim obviously because i beat maddie yes and i love that oh my god i love that um that costume is big um <laughs> we were just okay. talking about our family vacation yes that you came on and did you ever know how much the food cost yeah oh god no, i don't want to know for this the pool no it was really I bad i don't know yes what is this Hi. it's her youtube channel but guess how much uh like that trip we went on yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't find Greg myself so like yourself. a few months ago. Uh, Ivy, you're yes. shaking your butt. Uh, 
I literally don't know. Just guess. Okay. Um, like from the whole trip? Yeah, just for the pool. <laughs> just for the pool. Okay, what did like you get? Like a guacamole. A lot of guacamole. A lot of strawberry daiquiris. I get strawberry daiquiris. And there were how many of us? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. Like, I don't even know how to, like... Just I'll just tell you. Six thousand nine hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, it literally scars me. That um, makes me sick. That's so funny. You know, Greg talks about you. My mom's up. Greg. About that trip. Uh-huh. Uh. Um, oh, okay. oh, and my favorite group dance. Yeah. She's asking me questions. Oh, my favorite one, so favorite one. group dance was oh my gosh, the one with you in the red. You stomped the yard. You were the cute. Oh wait, stomped I just the yard wait, was good. but I just saw you in a dance the other day. That you were in the front. You were so itty bitty. You were so good in Did it. Did I the red hair? No, it was. You were so good, and I don't even know what dance it was. I don't even remember it. It probably wasn't the right Was music. it a lyrical? Program? No, it was like you were hard hitting and I couldn't keep my eyes off you, but I don't remember what it was. Stomp the Yard. Stomp the Yard was I the one you know that one. I love that one. I love that one. Stomp yeah. the Yard is my favorite. The and last then, text you died. Oh my God, no, that was the worst dance I've ever been in. I didn't do anything. Austin, there's one dance that, I'm in, that I was in where we, it's called The Last Text and we were in a car crash and there was a car seat. Oh, I've seen this. I literally just fly over the car and I die and that's <laughs> my part. But her dance teacher took her no. dress and ran it over in the parking lot and then ripped it up. No, but you know what's, what was so crazy for most of the time? She would fully tell me the reason I'm in this dance is to lower the age group. Yeah. <laughs> like it wasn't because I was good. Oh, and then you like just... And then I would just like die in the first two seconds. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have to do anything. That's work for me. Um, Stomp the Yard and, 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 and. Oh my God, there's so many good ones. My favorite duet was you and Nia when she when you were the lion. Yes. Okay, all I can think about when I think about you dancing is that one with you and your mouse. Yeah, my mouse solo. Yeah, this is my first solo when I was six years oh old. Oh my God, I love that. I honestly liked a lot of our group dances. Yeah, they were yeah. they were actually really good. Yeah. Um. But like, if you ever watch a group dance, like you can watch me in the back corner forgetting most of the dance. No, you didn't. You just think you did. No, I really did. There's some dances where I forgot a lot of them. Um, our last dance was fun though. The hip hop one. Mm hmm. Um, the uh Spice Girls one where I was like the lead for, oh, the, yeah. for the first time. Yeah, I love that one. I like all of our group dances, seriously. Yeah, I like most of them. Uh, there wasn't really many I didn't Our know. drag queen one was fun. Where I twerked on stage. Oh, yeah, that was so cute. I love that one. Listen Full to me. On. I'm saying that was cute. My daughter twer twerked and she was like 10. I yeah. was 10, but I wasn't actually like... Yeah. It was supposed to be cute. But it was so well, cute. Well, thank you so much for doing this with me. I love you. I love Don't you Don't show too. your butt, I mean. You can show your butt. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate you coming. <laughs> love, love you. Bye.